What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm just uh, heading down from my apartment here, heading to the shop. Uh, we have a huge day planned. We have more Cayman mods. This mod in particular is one I've been waiting for for a long time and I'm gonna bring you guys with us today to pick out brand new racing seats. There's a few different styles that I'm gonna be choosing from and I need your guys' help in the comments below to pick which model we put in the Cayman. I cannot wait. You guys saw in the last video, we started our interior modifications and the seats are just the next step in the custom interior on this build. So we're gonna be racing down to Salt Lake City to go test fit a bunch of different kinds of seats. And uh, I'm gonna need your guys' help to pick out the best one that fits this build. So there's so many different kinds of racing seats. There's like full bucket, reclining, there's like super high end, then there's more basic ones. And I need your guys' help because this build is a very, very unique build. But I cannot wait any longer. We're running a little bit behind schedule actually. Faith is going to be meeting us there. So let's hop in the Cayman and get going. Oh man, I cannot wait to have new seats in here. It's gonna really bring the interior together. All right, let's roll. You guys remember when I said like, now that I've modded the car so much, it's like kind of a headache to drive. You guys look at all my lights. So I have a check engine light, that's because of my O2 sensors. Um, I have a, a tire light because these tires don't have the tire pressures. I have check engine, uh, we got window washer, we got system fault, whatever that means. We got service now. Hey, that wasn't that bad. When I do get going though, a bunch more pops up. I also have an airbag light for some reason. Guys, driving this car, although I do have to baby it and it's kind of a headache, it turns so many heads. People's attention is just drawn towards it, mainly because they have no idea what it is or why it's so low or possibly why it looks so dang good. But I would say about the same amount of people look at this uh, that look at the 430 when we're driving through Salt Lake. It's really, really fun. All right, guys, we just arrived. And look who showed up. We got Faith in the SRT right here. Hi. Hi. Ooh. Stop. Ooh, Stop girl. it. Stop it. Dang. All right, you ready to test out some cool seats? Yep. All right, let's go inside. Goals. I want a tricock so bad. Nice shoes. I got my little shoe booties on. But check out how amazing this little photo shoot corner is. Look at the Cayman. Has it ever looked any better than this? We have diffused lighting, we have like all the whiteness. So I ended up picking a company to go with for the racing seats. It's called Corbo Racing Seats. I preemptively picked four different styles to choose from that I thought complemented the build. I'm gonna need you guys' help to fine tune that down to just one seat, well two seats, but one style for the Cayman. Okay, so we have them all out here right now. I need to quickly sit in them, see how I like the fit. I'll talk about each one, why I like it, maybe why it doesn't fit the car and then we'll throw some in the car and check them out. Let's start uh, on this side right here. So this one is the RRX, um, I believe. I looked them up online. So yeah, this is the RRX. I like this one because it looks more like sporty OEM or OEM plus. I learned that term the other day, OEM plus. OEM plus. Yeah, Ooh. I like that. So this one's really, really cool. Let's go ahead and sit in it. I'm gonna recline it a little bit here. How's it feel? Ooh. So this one actually feels very similar to the OEM Cayman seats that I had. So in the Cayman, I actually have the upgraded sport option seats, which have bigger uh, shoulder bolsters. So these kind of feel similar, although it just seems more steep on the sides, which is great. Oh um, yeah. No, I like this one a lot. The thing I don't like is it looks a little bit plain, which could be good, could be bad. I don't know, on to the next one. So this one, I just had to look it up real quick because I forgot, it's the FX1. This is more of a legit racing, like autocross, uh, going to the track type seat. It is a fiberglass fixed back bucket seat. Uh, it looks incredible, it looks so fast. If I put these in the car, it would make the car look a lot more capable than it is. It's not the fastest car in the world. Ooh, whoa. Is it very bucket-y? Yeah, absolutely. So this one's, I like, I feel like I'm like engulfed by it. You're being hugged? <laughs> yeah, being hugged by the seat, which is what you want when you're ripping around the track. Kind of like the, the sportiness that it would add to the car, but at the same time, I 
this will never really go to the track. Sorry yeah. guys, this is not going to the track. It's not built for speed, it's not built for performance. It's built to look good and kind of have that unique universal flow through the whole build of the car. Mm. And uh, so I don't know, I don't know. I like this one a lot. Maybe I'll have to build like an actual race car and then we can throw those in. Yeah, there you go. So these next two are very similar. You can see that they're like designed kind of the same up top. So this is the RRB and the RRS. Wow, well you really know your seats. Yeah, I looked them, I've been looking at them online. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a tough decision. I had to do my research. So the RRB is really cool. I like how it's a bucket, kind of, but you can also recline it. You see like the gaps right here? Yeah. So it holds you. Uh, the only concern that I have with this seat, uh, well, and this one are like this part right here. I, I don't know if it'll it's fit pretty inside wide. the door. Um, and then also this one, oh, both these seats, I don't know if my seat belt would fit. Because oh. my seat belt goes on the outside. I kind of like, I like the cutouts though. I don't really like how you have to like put it through the hole. Yeah. So that's for a harness. Ooh. Yeah, for like big harness thing. Oh, you know? gotcha. Which I don't have and I don't know if I'm going to do. So this seat right here is kind of a hybrid between these two. Um, it feels more snug than this one, but it also feels comfor more comfortable than this one. Well. These are tough choices, guys. Tough choices. Know which one I like. Which? Which one? That one, for sure. Oh, the, the end one? The end one, yeah. Uh, one vote. Uh, by faith. One okay. vote by faith. One vote by faith so far. So uh, this one's actually really good. I like this one a lot. Oh, another added benefit. Each one of these weighs significantly less than the original seats. That the original seats in the car are like 30 pounds each. So you'll go even faster. Weight reduction. It's all about weight reduction, guys. Okay, so this one, it feels almost identical to the last one I sat in except my hips can breathe. So the looks and the feel are only two parts of the seat. The most important part is if they actually fit in the Cayman. Let's go check out inside the Cayman. You guys saw in the last Cayman mod video that it's very tight fit in there. So we actually already have the RRX seat fitted in there. So you guys can really see how it looks inside the car. Ooh. With the door closed, look at that. Ooh. I think that looks really good. It does look really good. So we have the driver's seat out as well. That way we're prepping the new seat brackets for another one of those four so we can test fit it on the driver's side. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and test fit the next one. Do you need as much muscles for this chair as your OEM chair? No, these are at least 10 pounds lighter. Wow. Which is pretty awesome. Nice. What do you think of that? Um, I don't know which one this is. I just took a seat. That is the, lean forward, RRS but it's pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Have you sat in that one yet? The bucket? This one? Yeah. No. Oh, it doesn't hug me as much because I'm quite tiny. You're petite. So, wah. Nice. All right, which one do you want to test fit in the car next? One, two, or three? Uh, <laughs> the booty print I left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do that one. This one, the bucket seat? Okay, yep. Let's go throw this in the car. Now these are pretty sick. Yeah, that does look pretty cool. The suede on it matches like, the roof. Yeah, so we have an Alcantara headliner that Faith and I installed. I didn't do anything. <laughs> that I that. installed. I was giving you free credit. Why don't you take it? Well, because I'm honest. <laughs> Almost touches the door though. So the fitment is a little bit mm. closer. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you look funny. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know. I like no. how the logo's up here though. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see it with the window down. All right, so there you guys go. Those are the four seats that I've preemptively picked out that I thought would uh, complement this build the most. So Faith has been kind of vocal about which one she likes the most. Which one was it again? The R something, something the R, the R something. RRB. So she likes the RRB the most, but I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Which one did you like the most and would you think would fit this Cayman build the most out of those four seats that we went over? Let me know in the comments below. We got option one, two, three, and my favorite, four. And Clayton's shoes are not an option. My little uh, shoe booties. So now that we've test fitted all the seats and I know that they all technically fit 
and they all look fantastic. We need to painstakingly get this Cayman out of the photo shoot, which does entail laying like paper down on the floor. That way the tires don't leave giant tire marks on this like pure white backdrop, which is really insane. <laughs> Man, that was so much fun. We need like a photo corner in our future shop. Right now it would basically be the entire shop. But uh, I cannot wait to hear your guys' opinion on what seats you think fit in this car. Uh, but I am starving, I know Faith is, and we are down in Salt Lake. Let's go to Texas Roadhouse. All right, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> right. We are here and uh, wow, I, uh, I did not know that malls were open again. So that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, Clayton beat me. Look at that. Ah, you beat me. Hey, you're so cool with a hat on. Faith cool kid. Okay. <laughs> we may have both mix, missed the exit. I missed it. I went one too soon and she went one too later. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we made it. So. We made it. Well, I learned something new today. That the malls are open. And I didn't know that we could dine in. Yeah, so we, we could eat to go inside, inside Texas. It looks like there might even be a wait. Oh, great. Everyone had the same idea. Man, today's activities were so much fun. Thank you guys so much for joining in as uh, we test fit those new Corbo seats. I want to give a huge shout out to Corbo for one, making amazing quality budget seats, uh, but also <laughs> making them. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying, I want to do a huge shout out to Corbo Seats. Their seats are great quality, very affordable, and they look amazing. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. We're going to go eat some Texas Roadhouse. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.